Hello, everybody, and welcome to NCAA Basketball via SBF. I am going to be your commentator tonight, Lion, also known as the Talons GM, and Kenneth Michael. We have Carter being guarded, passes to Velez, and the rebound by Cortez. Cortez bringing up the ball. Jump shot is good for Gonzaga. The first to score is Maverick Varlow. Alfie Hayes. Now Alex Hayes guarding the ball. Oh, well, they're just passing before I can say anything. Mike Honcho with the good defense and the rebound. Varlow laying it up and in. 4-0 lead for Gonzaga early. Right with the ball. Gets it to Simmons. Jump shot is no good. Rebounded by Mike Concho. Alfie Hayes bringing it up. Gets it to Maverick Varlow. Down low to Alex. No good. Rebounded by Carter. Simmons trying to get by his guy. Lays it up and off the glass and in. First points on the board, scored by Timothy Simmons for the Georgia Bulldogs. Battle of the Bulldogs here. Mike Honcho gets it for the dunk off the good cut. Great find by Alfie Hayes. Now it's Lonnie Velez. Through the traffic, no good. Rebounded Honcho. Barlow has the ball now. Now Alex Hayes turns around, spins. No good on the jumper. Velez guarded by Alex Hayes. Drives, finds the cutting McFly. Marty McFly with the dunk. Alfie Hayes gets the screen from Cortez and Honcho. Passing it around the perimeter. Everybody's getting touched the ball. Maverick's gonna have to force up a shot here. Steps back for the three. It's a little bit of space too strong. Rebounded by Marty, who doesn't know what to do with the ball, so he, wow. I don't know if Marty knows what to do when he gets rebounds, but that's not it. Gonna want to reevaluate his strategy when he gets his next rebound. Alfie Hayes. Alley oop to Mike Concho. Powerful dunk, asserting his dominance. Alfie guarding uh, Simmons, rebounded by Samuel Carter, gets fouled on the way up by Alex Hayes. First shot is good. Second shot at the line for Carter. That one's good. Alfie finds Cortez, gets blocked. McFly blocks that one out of bounds on Georgia, though. Gonzaga's going to have an opportunity here again. Alex Hayes wide open for three, drains it. Simmons with the ball. Trying to go to work on Alfie. Alfie's defense very persistent, not letting him buy him. He's gonna pass out to Talani, taking the contested jump shot, no good, rebounded by Mike Concho. And there's the shot. Alfie Hayes. Been such a good point guard for this team. 
quietly, quietly in talks for the MVP this season with his ability to score and facilitate the ball. Cortez drives off the glass. Simmons bringing it up. The screen gets a little bit of space, switches. He's now on Ray Cortez. Now McFly on the guard. Nobody's coming to help him. He's going to have an easy layup. Those are the kind of mismatches they're going to need if they want to stay with this Gonzaga offense. Well, and we're getting a system mechanic thing. Sorry about that. Been a persistent issue that we've been having that we need to figure out. Alley oop to Mike Honcho. Honcho is on fire right now. Second alley oop of the night. And we're not even done with the first quarter. Simmons, seven seconds left, gets a screen. Being guarded by Honcho. Nothing there. Rebounded by Honcho. Alex Hayes. Gets the screen from Mike. Mike rolls, nothing there. They're gonna get it to him down low and he's gonna go for the hook and no good, a little bit off there. And George is gonna, uh, gonna have a little bit too much time on the clock. Gonzaga might have a chance for another shot here. But George is still gonna wind it down. Talani waiting, gets a screen from, uh, from Carter, takes the three. No good put back up and in by McFly. Three seconds left. They're going to have one heave shot available. 2.6 remaining. Going to heave it up. And it is almost in from Alfie. At the end of our first quarter, it's been all Gonzaga's game, but still a very good performance out of both teams. Looking like an offensive game to start. We'll see how it transpires. He's going to inbound it from Cortez. Guarded by Simmons. Gets by him. The floater, no good. Too strong. Rebounded by Carter. In the corner is Trey Wright. Gets it stripped. Stolen by Maverick Varlow. They're in transition on... Two on two, and they're going to miss, but Honcho gets the rebound, puts it back up. No good rebound, Carter. Good defense by Georgia. Trey Wright finds Samuel Carter down low, and he has the position on Honcho. Lays it in easy. Alani Velez guarding Alex Hayes up top. Going to get it to Cortez, who gets it back to Alfie. Alfie's got a little bit of space. Pump fakes, gets it to Alex for three, and that's good. Pushes the lead up to eight early. Oh, and that is a hard foul. Bad illegal screen there by McFly. Leaves Alex Hayes rolling on the ground. Farlow, guarded by Wright, gets it to Alfie. Alfie to Mike. Mike fakes the pass. Tries to get by Samuel Carter. Gets fouled on the way up. He had good position. Forced him to shoot from decently far away, but he fouls him on the way up. is going to make his first shot. Second shot is also good. Velez bringing up the ball. For three, short. Talani's three has just not been there tonight. They've been leaving him wide open, and he just can't get it. Zaga scoring on the other end right away.
There's the three from Simmons, and that's good. A three finally goes down for Georgia. Home crowd finally getting into this game. And the fadeaway three from Varlos, no good, rebounded by Trey Wright in transition. They're gonna try to score it here from the corner as Simmons, it's good. Simmons, back-to-back three-point shots. Now Simmons is guarding Alfie, but here's the screen from Ray Cortez. Gets a little bit of space, but he finds Cortez wide open for three, and that is good. Both these teams' offenses are clicking. Simmons gets the screen. Guarded by Honcho now. They've got a mismatch down low if he sees it. Carter not taking advantage of it, but he's going to stay there and take the mid-range shot, and it goes in. Simmons, three shots in a row and three possessions, three makes. Farlow gets the step back. The three is good. Both of these teams are letting it rain from long range. Screen. Nothing happening for Talani. Fly gives him the screen. Four seconds left. Simmons is gonna be forced to force a shoot a mid-range. Hancho with the rebound, rips it away from Carter. Alfie to Maverick, to Alex. The hook, it's good. Quick offense. Gonzaga is rolling, and Georgia needs to do its best to keep up right now. They need to get buckets. And there's one right there. Simmons cannot miss this quarter. He's not forced to shoot last second shots, that is. They've been going to him and it has been working. Hey, he's trying to get by Simmons. Deflected by Carter, Carter intercepts it. Simmons with the ball now. Gets it to Talani. Back to Simmons. alley -oop. a little bit overthrown, maybe mistimed. And on the other end, Cortez lays it in. What could have been a bucket for Georgia turns into a bucket for Gonzaga. Unfortunate turn of events there. 12 point lead for Gonzaga, minute 10 left in this half. Simmons to right. Trey Wright trying to get by Varlo. And a difficult shot, no good from Samuel Carter. Rebounded by Cortez, who's bringing it up himself. Finds Varlo for the lay-in. And this quick offense from Gonzaga is shredding the Georgia Bulldogs. Simmons pulling out every dribble move he knows. And the mid-range shot is no good on Alfie. Alfie playing very stout on defense. And there's the deep alley-oop. Great timing and more quick offense for Gonzaga. Georgia, on the other hand, being patient. There's the double team down low, but uh, by two guards. They're going to force a jump ball. Honcho's into it. It's won by Georgia. Georgia's got five seconds left. They need to shoot here. Velez is being forced to shoot another three. Too strong. Rebounded by Gonzaga. They're going to heave this up, and this is no good. Too strong. Going into the half, Gonzaga leads by 16, and this is in danger of being a blowout if Georgia can't fix their problems coming out of halftime. Transition defense, definitely an issue for this Georgia Bulldogs team. As we get ready, we're about to see the stats. Efficiency, much better for Gonzaga. Winning the rebound, definitely winning the assist battle. Most of their points coming off of assists. But 
Simmons got some steam in that second quarter. If they can keep getting them hot, they can easily climb their way back into this game if they start playing defense. Gonzaga, however, looks unstoppable right now. And they're going to see if we're going to see if Georgia can stop that unstoppable force coming out of halftime. Alfie trying to paw the dribble, moves himself with the floater, and it's in. How do you stop that? It's hard to double team Alfie, too. He will find you and cut you if you try to uh, double team him. You will find who's open. Simmons guarded by Cortez. The mismatch down low. Marty takes it. Takes it up, no good. Gets his own rebound and puts it back up and in. Guard no match for the uh, for the big man there. Alfie doing absolutely all he could against the power forward. Alfie up top, gets the screen from Mike Concho. Mid-range shot, it's good. And this is getting ugly. Gonzaga making a statement with this game right now. Big fly. Looks around. Nothing happening. Almost loses the ball there. Velez is going to be forced to shoot another three. Velez just forced into a lot of bad situations this game. Has not been able to find a rhythm. And the and one foul on right. Mike Honcho, great play there. Simmons with the ball. As you see Velez down low, go back up top to get the ball. You usually see him attack the rim and play in the post a lot more than he is right now. And the, uh, the big man is matched up on the guard again, and they cannot take advantage. Alfie, pump fake, takes the shot, and that's good. Gonzaga cannot miss right now. And at this rate, we might see the reserves in the fourth quarter. The fadeaway, no good. It looks like we got more quick offense for Gonzaga as Ray Cortez lays it in. Gonzaga, very, yeah, Gonzaga is more than doubled up Georgia now in the third quarter. Velez using his size advantage, misses there. Just no rhythm throughout the night, can't get anything to go. Varlow makes his shot. Nothing can miss for Gonzaga. Nothing. I wouldn't be surprised if they just started pulling up from the logo at this point. I'm convinced they can't miss. Georgia calling a smart timeout here. If they've got any chance of getting back into this game, they have to start before the fourth quarter. It's too big of a lead to come back for in one quarter. They have to start now. As we take a look at the three-point lace, uh, lace race, see a lot of great new players, new shooters in the competition. Simmons guarded by Alfie. Alfie steals the ball in transition. Slows it down, but he gets it to Ray Cortez for the phenomenal dunk. Simmons just heaving it up now. This Georgia team just looks defeated. Careless pass there by Alex. Simmons to Talani. Talani Velez gets the screen. 
Goes at Cortez, gets fouled on his way up. Misses the free throw. Velez cannot make anything tonight. This is ridiculous. And finally gets a point. And a, th wow, a 180 dunk by Cortez there. From the alley-oop. And Gonzaga is just toying with Georgia now. Up by 30 with a minute 40 to go, and they want to increase their lead. Man, this league is determined by the standings from your record. But you could not convince this Gonzaga team that there isn't a voting poll and they're not just trying to run up the score to make themselves look better. I don't think they know that's how it works. And horribly short jump shot. Immediately attacking the on the other end, foul. And this is ugly. Georgia started the season, I think it was like 12 or 13 and 0. Had a few blemishes and hiccups going into the recent weeks. And this is easily their worst looking game of the season. Worst performance we've seen out of, seen out of them. Nothing going right tonight. And when it rains, it pours. This Georgia team we know can be good. But this is a vulnerable side of Georgia we have never seen. And this is a absolute buzzsaw of a Gonzaga team. Crowd booing now. There's the dunk from Hancho. Crowd likely very upset out of the performance they're seeing out of Georgia. Georgia has barely scored at all this half. And Gonzaga is continuing to try to pile on as they make another shot. I have never seen this Georgia team look, uh, get thrashed this much in a single quarter, let alone a full game like what's happening right now. And they're just heaving things up right now. They've given up. I'm not going to be surprised if we see the reserves coming in for this last, uh, for this last quarter. Assist of the game. Yep, that was a pretty good alley-oop. There are a lot to choose from. And we're seeing the reserves in now. I don't know who any of these players are, except apparently Ray Cortez, who missed what would have been an insane alley-oop. But it looks like that Gonzaga's keeping their team in. I don't know any of these Georgia players, but it doesn't look like... It looks like they're going to be keeping in Cortez, Hancho, and I think Alfie. Hancho with the ball, gets it to Cortez, jump shot, no good. That is ridiculous that they are putting any of their starters in right now. Up by nearly 40 points in the fourth quarter. This has got to be pure stat padding. And there's another dunk from Cortez. This team showing blatant disrespect to Georgia. Have to wonder if these two Bulldog teams 
They're gonna have a little bit of a more physical game going into their next one. Another dunk by Cortez. Because you don't forget games like this. There's gonna be a lot of talk after this game. I have a feeling it's not going to be pleasant. Four minutes left, it looks like during the next dead ball, they're gonna be replacing a lot more of the starters for, uh, for Gonzaga. Cortez finds the cutting man, Simon. Make sure if you're watching this live right now and you're still here enjoying this epic basketball that you leave a comment. Make sure you tell us who you are in the Discord in the comment section so we can get your points. That is probably the most productive thing that can happen for this quarter is to make sure that you get that done. Honcho with a dunk. And this is pure stat padding. I mean, you love to see it if you're a Gonzaga fan. Keep in some of the fan favorites. Pad their stats, look good, potential player of the weeks. Help the award race, help the all-star race. And the dunk from Cortez. But some, is, some people are going to argue that when they see this kind of stat padding, that it should devalue some of your stats at the, end of the, at, at the end of the week. For instance, if I see Ray Cortez in when they're up by 40 points, just dunking on bench player scrubs for reserve teams, then I might think that somebody else who had equal stats might have done better. But that's all open for interpretation. Ancho with two seconds left. Turns around with a hook, no good. That was a cool move by whoever that was. Good for him, I guess. Gonzaga just showing almost no effort in this half. Came out of the gates, managed to score, I think, like three or four points in the fourth quarter, third quarter. We gotta watch reserves for the rest of the game because of it. After this victory, it might not be too crazy to say that Gonzaga is the team to beat. MTSU looks really strong. UNC looks really strong. Florida, the defending national champions. As much as you can say negative about Georgia, you can also say positive about Gonzaga. How crazy efficient their offense has been. This is a team chemistry that I don't know if I've seen from any other team. I did not see any, really, any situations where it didn't look like everybody was on the exact same page. They know what the goal is. As we wrap up this blowout of a game, I hope you guys had fun in the first half because that's the only part where it was semi-competitive. But 
It's still college basketball. Hope you enjoyed it. Signing out.